still the long distance race in the world. So its stature is no less than it's ever been. I qualified in 66 with a GT40, but I had an accident at Spa, so I was never able to do the race. But you know, it's a wonderful race. I mean, it's a fantastic name, and it's one of the biggest races in the world. The Canadian Grand Prix is on this weekend as well. So Le Mans has taken precedent over that. So I'm, I'm really happy to be here, and the enthusiasm of the crowd's terrific. Well, we're just doing a bit of coverage for Stracker Racing, so people can join the fan zone, um, where they can go on the website and uh, register to get all the latest news and information and gossip from the team. And the whole pit lane, in fact, is open to everybody. They can come and have a look around and get close, up close and personal with the cars and the drivers, and it's great to give something back to them, you know, because they spend a lot of money getting here. And so many British fans have travelled down as well. Well, we'll go to the Le Mans Town Centre later, and we'll go on the back of a, an old historic car, uh, and we'll do a lap around the town centre, if you like, giving out the leaflets and the posters and throw them out to the crowd and they collect all the <coughs> memorabilia from all the different drivers and teams. And it looks like a really a nice day today, so hopefully there'll be quite right, a few people there watching. Yeah, Um, we shook it down last night and it feels absolutely perfect. And uh, we've got a racing driver that's in one piece as well, thank goodness. And uh, we can't wait to get on with it tomorrow now. Rubber bands are definitely a big plus from last year. Don't feel like you're going to blind anyone this year. So. That's to the end of the driver's parade, we incredible. We've got a lot of support, a lot of people behind Stracker, a lot of people very behind us about it. Obviously a lot of people know about the crash and a lot of well wishes, which is great to hear, you know, it picks you right back up. I mean, I always think by the end of the driver's parade, that's it, you know, race mode. As we wake up, try and get a good night's sleep and then we're into, you know, a very tough 24 hours. It's all reality now. We've got all the build up out of the way. We're in a good qualifying position on the grid, so it's time to go racing.